In this video, I intend to unpack this trailer segment by segment, so let's take a look at what they have to say, pause the video, talk a little bit more in depth, because there really is a lot here if you stop and listen. Elite Dangerous is a, a fantastic game which spans back over pretty much four decades now. It's a massively multiplayer game in its current iteration, uh, where you get to become a, a space pilot and, and fly around the Milky Way, and, and that Milky Way is, is represented one-to-one. -one. It's a fantastic technique achievement. Okay, this is your typical beginning where they explain the game for those who may be new to it. Not a lot here. The only thing that perked my ears up a little bit was when he said it's a massively multiplayer game in its current iteration. That could be referring back to the history of Elite Dangerous, or it could be looking towards the future. It's probably looking back, but you never know. Whenever you hear things like in its current iteration, you think, okay, well, what's the next iteration going to be? With Odyssey, it's the development of everything that was cool and great and unique about the original game but taken forward and with a new dimension added and that new dimension is that you, you are now able to traverse this environment on foot. Okay, now the introduction of Odyssey and the new dimension they're adding with traversing the universe on foot. Guys, not a lot here yet but stay with me, it's coming, I promise. The first time even that you get out and you actually see your ship in front of you and you understand how massive these ships actually are is kind of awe-inspiring. All right, and here's the first really new information we get. The fact that you get out of your ship, they show the exit right there. We still don't know if we're going to be able to walk around inside the ship yet, which is a big question, but the fact that they are trying to do it to scale uh, and make massive ships is exciting. It's actually really quite dangerous. You know, you are millimeters away from the vacuum or, or from a, a thin atmosphere that could kill you in an instant. So the idea that you were enclosed in this suit and you could hear your own breathing was a really important part of the experience as far as we were concerned. All right, and here we see the mock-ups of the spacesuits for the characters, which look almost identical to the ones they dropped in the trailer. The other thing is they confirm that their attention to detail they take throughout the entire game is continued on with Odyssey in every little detail, which means it's going to take some time. One of the key things I really wanted to push was the idea that you'd kind of get that Neil Armstrong moment when you actually set foot on a planet for the first time. It had to have a, a slight emotional resonance to it had to feel like you were literally touching the ground for the first time. It's some, something we've hinted at with the ships, but now you can really do it. That Neil Armstrong moment. Wow. Guys, I don't know about you, but this reminds me of being a kid and being excited about space exploration and uh, all of the things, NASA and everything else, being a kid and excited about space again, and I really hope they can do it with Odyssey. Exploration has always been a huge part of Elite. What's new is the fact that for the first time we'll be able to visit planets with light atmospheres. Planets with light atmospheres. What I hear there is that only certain planets we're going to be able to land on, maybe one per system, maybe not even every system, but they're definitely limiting it based on what they're saying. We have all the, the data for these worlds that we create. Which planets have what types of atmospheres, their surface pressures, composition, their temperature. Now we get to recreate it for you to explore. All right, here they reaffirm their commitment to realism with the information and the data that they have on the current planets, but then they also say with a few to explore. What does that mean? Is there going to be two, three, twelve, a hundred, one per system? I don't know, but that's really a question I have. We're really striving to make our, our planets look fantastic from a, an on-foot perspective where you can get much, much closer to them. This is both with new rocky planets and new ice worlds, which look absolutely incredible. All right, and here they tell us that there's going to be two types of planets. They're going to be rocky planets and ice planets, and that they're really focused on the look of the planets. Of course they are. That's a game. That's what we want to see. But they're limiting it to two types at this point. Well, it's heavy in ice, we'll end up with ice world specific formations. You'll end up with uh, Linne, Palimpsests, uh, cryovolcanism on um, worlds which are more rocky. You will end up with your mountains, your canyons, your ridges, your seas, basins like on the moon. All right, and here they tell us further that they're going to have two separate distinct types of planets. They're not just going to make one brown and one white, but they're going to have distinct ice worlds and mountainous rock worlds with uh, distinct formations for each one. 
The rocky planets have been upgraded to the point where now even the distant view looks so different. You're getting details that were never there before. Okay, and here they're mentioning the detail again and upgrading the detail on the planets. Is this the existing planets that they're upgrading detail on? Or is it something new that they're just talking about to see? Another exciting element uh, of these new planets and these new terrains which the uh, light atmosphere affords are, are some more vegetation, some more flora. Okay, and here's the first time we hear the mention of vegetation or flora. There is none of it shown in the video at this point. And uh, yeah, so that's exciting. Are this going to be lush planets? It doesn't sound like it. It sounds like it may be more rare. Let's see where they go. The flora that we're producing, we've been really uh, interested in making sure that they they feel like convergent life, so that they're recognisable to us um, as different genuses and species, but they are also quite alien in themselves. We want them to be plausible though. Okay, and here's our first look at some of the drawings of the vegetation. They obviously are still going for an alien look with an attention to detail that we see in this game so often, and give us just a few models here to look at. The first time a player encounters one of these new organic life forms, they'll be able to sample it and extract genetic data from that organic life form. They can then log that in their codec, but also take back some of that genetic information as data and then trade that for rewards back at starports and planet ports. All right, and this is our first look at the sampling tool, a new item that will allow us to sample flora, not only to give us data just for information for those who want to collect all the things, but also for rewards back at space ports and planet ports. This is something new they're adding, a new mission type to the game for those who want to continue their exploration on planet. Elite has always had a, a great heritage in, in allowing people to explore and, and rewarding them for finding things. And obviously we're going to continue that on foot. So we've got um, billions and billions of planets out there and we're really wanting our community to engage, go into the black, set foot on new planets, get that moment where they are the first to set foot there and be able to report that back in. Once again, they're reminding us of Elite's attention to detail and just the vastness of the worlds that they have created. Now they talk about millions and billions of planets however uh, they want us to explore them and I'm assuming it's so that we can find the ones that we can actually land on we're not gonna be able to land on all of them I can't imagine that maybe we will and I'm wrong what do you guys think let me know back in exploration in particular I think generates those kind of magical moments where it's very very difficult to, to, to get anything close to that um, playing anything else it's something that's really unique to elite is it though? There's lots of exploration games, and my fear with this update, they've shown us two types of planets, rocky planets and ice planets. Is the exploration gonna get stale quick? That's one of the big complaints of No Man's Sky right now is the lack of variation. Now they say there's lots of variation, but is there really? You kind of see it all after you've played for a few hours. But uh, I, I'm hoping that's not the case we're gonna get here with Odyssey. I'm hoping they can learn from the mistakes of their predecessors and really make exploration something we want to do for hours and hours and continue to do throughout our playing careers. I think what Odyssey really represents for, for our players is the fulfillment of the promise that we made right at the very start of Elite, that, that we would finally allow people to get out of their ships and walk on, on planetary surfaces. We have the full scale, you can fly from one end of the galaxy to the other, and now you can land on, on some of the planets and explore them on foot. All right, folks, and there you have it. They are fulfilling the promises they kept at the very beginning to allow us to get out on foot. They re-emphasized some planets, so don't get your hopes up that you're gonna be able to land anywhere and everywhere. Uh, I really think it's just gonna be a few at first and hopefully more as they continue to uh, develop this update odyssey that we see here and uh, there's still lots of questions we got some answers but I think even more questions remain will we be able to walk around in our ships uh, will they add more variation as they go I think they will but let me know your comments I'm really interested to know what questions you guys have you guys uh, play the game every day let me know what you think let me know what you see and what questions should we be asking Guys, this is Survival Bomb. If you enjoyed this content, please again hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel for more update. I will be bringing you new Elite Dangerous content as soon as it releases. So make sure you follow us with that bell notification on. This is Survival Bomb saying if you're going to be a Bob, have fun with it. And uh, if you're going to play Elite Dangerous, 
Get some freaking space legs, guys. Come on, let's go for a walk. You and me, let's go. <laughs> 